Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3! A land over which CPUs rule and game mascots rally under them, away from the realm of humans. Game industry is made up of four nations, each ruled over by one of the CPUs. CPU Whiteheart rules Louis. CPU Blackheart rules Lastation. CPU Greenheart rules Leanbox and CPU Purpleheart rules Planetune. Each nation battles over dominion of the land, with the CPUs keeping one another in top form, creating a balance. Memories of the battle against the deity of Sin and her schemes remain fresh in game industry's mind. The four nations banded together and managed to thwart her ambitions. Some time had passed, and game industry had once again returned to a peaceful way of life. That peace did not last long. The curtains rise on the four CPUs, who are about to trigger a new war. Don't let you have your frickin' way! I hope you can entertain me a little bit at least. You should feel honored to be able to face me. All right, I'll play with you for a minute. Come and get it. I'm gonna go all out! Ta Wide open. Eat this! <laughs> I'll slice you in half! <laughs> You've met your match today! Huh? Take this! Huh? It's over! You're mine! I'll finish this! I won't lose! <laughs> This is where you shall perish! Disappear!
It is high time you receive your comeuppance, Purple Heart. No, Neptune. How careless of me to think the three of you would join forces. Oh, come on. It only makes sense at this point to lower the head count one at a time like this. It'd be a pain if you end up being the last one standing. So we're gonna beat you down first! If only Nepgear were here, I shouldn't have abandoned her. A bit late for regrets now. Get ready to die! Please rest assured, Neptune, we won't torture you. Expect a swift and clean death. Leave the finishing blow for me. I'll never lose. Even against the three of you, I will be victorious. Your life will be taken by my hands! Don't get in our way! Not yet! Finally! I'll end this! Nothing can survive against my Super Dreadnought class strength! I am ready. Ready when this is the true strength of Last Station CPU! Are you ready? I will have you perish here. No, this cannot be. Is this where I finally die? It can't be. <sighs> no! I lost, you guys! <laughs> One down, two to go. Victory is all but mine. Get real. With Neptune out of the game, none of you stand a chance against me. Come on, it's when you all gang up on me just cause I'm awesome. You're all cheater belly eaters. What a rude accusation to make. We all inadvertently have the same goal in mind. Times like this should give you a glimpse into who you are as a person and how you act in your daily life. Aw, I really wanted to play too. I'm as sorry as a cat, Nep Jr. It's a four-player game, so... You received your comeuppance for barging in when it was your sister's turn. Just a second. I'll win this round real quick. Okay, one more game. If I let you all win every time, it'll make Planetune's CPU look like a loser. Round two, fight! is not initiating. What is this buggy scream? Only Purple Heart is showing up. None of ours are even loading. Neptune, did you break the game? I did nothing of the sort. I selected my titular character and pushed the start button like always. Then it's a freeze bug, no? I have this game myself, but I've never had this happen to me. And the place it loaded your character into. It looks like a dungeon, doesn't it? Now that you mention it, it does. Why would there be data for a dungeon in a fighting game? Perhaps the developers reused an old engine and the assets were left in. Or an update file was installed? Neptune, can you control your character at all? I've been mashing all the buttons the whole time you've been talking, but uh, she's stuck. I see. As a gamer, I would love to explore this restricted area. But at this rate... Oh, if that's all it is, then I have the perfect gizmo to help. Hmm. Ta-da! My special head-mounted super full-dive immersive controller. I call it the Nebulous Grift. Temp. A controller you wear on your head? It looks like any other VR headset. What's 
different about this one? Could this be the device that we have all dreamed of? Does it allow you to dive into a game by wearing it? Yes! A certain game industry journalist recommended a young adult novel about online game worlds to me. I had to try! And since the controller doesn't have its own software, I made a universal dongle to let it work with any device! Um, long story short, we can use it to intervene in a game whether it's bugged or frozen or anything really. Neptune, since when has your sister been this much of a machine-loving and tinkerer character? Neptunior's machine fetish was innocent enough that it didn't get in the way of her cuteness. How'd it end up this way? Wait! Is it because of the new route they added into Rebirth 2 where she and Uni worked on a machine together? Is this entire subplot based on that one route where her tinkering really took off? Don't ask me! And leave my sister out of this! Nepgear, may I please use that device to dive into this game? Um, well, I just finished development on it this morning. It's untested, so I don't think anyone can use it. I see. In that case... <gasps> Purple Heart is shown on screen. I believe Neptune standing as the protagonist will keep her safe. The logic of a gamer. Don't blame me if something happens. Let me see. Is this the headset start button? And push. Hey, hey, hey. What sort of situational comedy situation have you situated me in, Vert? But, uh, this could be a cool thing to experience. <laughs> so this is what it's like to be inside a game, huh? Dive success! Oh, thank goodness. Still, what a ridiculous scenario. She looks like her HDD form, but her personality and voice is Neptune. Oh, you're right! Wow! Is this my body after transforming? <laughs> I never noticed. Yippee skippy! This is totally a new experience for me! Whee! This is too weird. Neptune, can you just act like your HDD self for me? I don't know if I can or not, but I'll give it a try, try, passerby! How does this sound? I figured there was nothing to lose by asking, but I never thought you'd manage to pull it off. Okay, this feels more natural. Neptune, can you move around? As you can see, my movement is not restricted in the slightest. Neptunior, I am impressed. This feels real. Oh, golly! My big sister praised me! <laughs> Yay! However, remaining in this form and using this personality is quite tiresome. Snap. It's way more comfy to laze about in this bod. What? You changed back somehow! Of course she did. This fighting game has an HDD transformation system as one of its mechanics. Anything is possible in games. Well, now that I'm back to my usual carefree self, let's start this investigation free of cares.
Looks neat. I'm all hyped! Finally! Here you go! Hey! Here you go! What? What? Ouch! Here you go! Bye-bye! Hey! Bye-bye! I'm fine! Hey! Chestbuster! Ouch! Here you go! A complete and utter victory! a different game's dungeon assets mixed in. Do you think? Something's buggering me, though. Be careful, Neptune! Something's coming your way! My way? But there can't be anything here other than my fine self. <gasps> it's a succulent beast! What? This thing! Was this ever in one of our games? No. No such monster exists in the Neptunia franchise. An irregular existence. Either it's a bug or some kind of virus in the game's code. A virus? I suppose it's possible. Maybe the area Neptune's exploring was made by that same virus then. It is a tad hasty to jump to that conclusion. But... The enemy is intent on fighting. So shall it be. <laughs> Hang on! We don't even know what this thing is! Can I even beat it? You're in a game. It'll be fine. Why are you acting so casual and vague now of all times? If I lose, I might seriously die. Die in the game, die in real life. That kind of horror premise exists. Oh, oh! Maybe if you fight it, I can extract some really neato combat data from the game's code. Perfect. Are you gabbing gals even listening? Are you lippy ladies ignoring me? Can't you flippin' females hear me? Okie dokie. I've connected my end gear to the headset. I should be able to extract the enemy's data now. You heard the plan, Neptune. Get fighting. Ah, fine. I'm gonna use my attack spamming suicide strategy.
There you go! Easy peasy. Win. Yeah! Easy peasy. Chip Buster! Yeah! What? Yeah! It's one kajillion times infinity years too early for you to defeat me. That was easier than eating. <laughs> it's worth it to try stuff out. Did you get your data, Nep Junior? Yes! It went perfect thanks to you! Hmm. So this is the data structure they used? What the goodness? What is the matter, Nep Gear? Is the data corrupt? No, no. The data is perfectly fine. And I've analyzed it without issue. But, um. Well, this is. Gah. Annoying! Just spit it out already! Your opponent is a sentient virus. Huh? huh? When you say virus, you speak of the computer kind and not an illness, yes? Right. I don't know why it exists, but I'm positive it's behind the reason why our game got messed up. The virus seems to have built this dungeon area via a network connection. I read something similar to this in a book years ago. Crazy cakes! You're telling me that it's the virus's fault that my sweet battling CPU's game got all buggy? Expect no forgiveness. Neptune seems legitimately angry for once. Well, duh! I scrimped and saved my measly allowance for many moons to buy the game and console, so this sucks! Your allowance? If Neptune has uncontrolled access to money, she buys every game she sees. So Isty put her on an allowance. Planetune CPUs are so weird. Okay, it's settled. I'm gonna do the quarantine thing and delete them all. Any more baddies around, Neptunior? I'm scanning the data, and I'm seeing a lot in the vicinity. But, I mean a lot. This might be tough, even for you. Numbers aren't important to me. A CPU won't bend or break against some dinky dingus of a virus. If she had this drive all the time, Eastwar probably wouldn't get so many stomach ulcers from the stress. Wait, my end gear is reacting. What is it this time? One super strong reaction came through the far end of the dungeon area. Maybe it's the root of the virus. Nicely analyzed, my tech savvy tinkerer of a sister. I'm gonna vent all my rage onto them for breaking my game. Ooh, looks neat. I'm all hyped. Why can't it always be my turn? Just but. It's all over. Why can it always be my turn? Chuck Buster! It's one kajillion times infinity years too early for you to defeat me. Just as planned. Hey! Easy peasy. It's one kajillion times infinity years too early for you to defeat me. Alrighty, I'll do my best. Hey! Yeah! It's all over. What? Yeah! Yeah! It's one kajillion times infinity years too early for you to defeat me. Alrighty, I'll do my best. Hey! Chuck Buster! What? 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 Oh, Nephew, it's all over. Victory! Surprise attack and success! Here you go! It's all over! Ouch! 
to a CPU, I'm gonna reformat their hard drives. Come at me. I'll be your opponent for a little while. Yeah! Disappear! Uh, ouch! There! I've got next! Uh. Eat fish! Next! Eat fish! Let's move on! We, such bit players, have no hope of defeating me, no matter their numbers. Then I'll just summon even more! Go, go, servant monster! Looks like they're intruding. There! They disappear! Uh, is that all? Ready anytime. Yeah! Eat this! Ouch! Is that all? That doesn't hurt. Eat so weak. I can't... That doesn't hurt. There! Next! Ouch! Say, eat next! Ah. Yeah. Disappear! Say, yeah. Let's move on. Your servants are no more. All that remains is you. Prepare yourself. This is why it's a waste of time to program fodder enemies. But if it's come to this, then I'll spawn my trump card. I sacrifice my super rare ticket to summon my pre-order exclusive DLC item. W what are you trying to do? Heed my call, super rare monster. You summoned another new monster? I'm incredibly lucky to have drawn a Bahamut type. It's the strongest of all super rare summons. Go and kill that nasty CPU! Can't 
Can you handle me? I'll finish this in one go. I'll bet victory on this one blow. Ouch! Don't get in our way! Don't get in our way! Ready anytime! I've got you! Eat this! That doesn't hurt! Say! Yeah! Ouch! Cross combo! Enemy eliminated. Mission complete. How can this be? My super rare stuff. How could you beat it so easily? You are all that remains, virus. Take this. It's all over. I'm not picking up any more viruses. Your objective has been met, Neptune! Then I shall dive out of this game. So tired. But hey, now there aren't any more pesky viruses in my game. Come on, let the playing recommence. Um, actually, Neptune, What's up, my darling sister? Um, it's really hard for me to tell you this, but... The game is no longer playable. What? What a shame, but it's the truth. Nepgear looked into it, but most of the character data has been erased. What? That's so not cool! I beat up the virus, right? You may have, but that will not fix that which has been destroyed. Ugh, this is beyond the beyond of lameness. Come on, cheer up! At least it was only the game that broke. Yeah, I should count my blessings that my save data and console are safe and sound. So let's change into our brighter moods and keep on playing. How about a racing game next? I just happened to bring a fun little big one. I'd recommend a party game. That plumber just released a new edition of his party game series. Perhaps we could tackle an online game together. Oh, I'll go and bring some more snacks and a pot of yummy tea. Pardon me, everyone. Nice timing, Isti. We're out of those dry crackery things. Can you go get more? I'd rather have something sweet. Why don't we eat the special station cookies I brought? Not a bad idea. But if cookies are on the menu, I would prefer a pot of black tea over green. Whoops! I'll go make a new pot then. <sighs> hey, quit loafing, Isti. Our mouths demand sugary treats. Oh, wait, it's rematch time. Hey, don't set the match without letting us know! I'm taking a break. I pity your lack of stamina. I am prepared for another ten hours of gaming at least. <sighs> All of you, the time has come to knock it off! Whoa, why the batitude, Isti? Heavens, my heart nearly leapt right out of my chest! Silence! I must raise my voice! Day after day, you four meet up only to play games. You are CPUs! How is it proper for the CPUs meant to rule the world to play and lollygag their lives away? Huh? Isti, are you... angry? Like, for real seeds? Now, now, Eastwar! Please, calm down! 
I will do no such thing. Nepgear, you are party to this as well. You jump at the chance to offer snacks and tea. You spoil them so much that they do not work. I... I'm so sorry. Huh. It is painfully clear that Neptune is a lost cause. But you are smart and serious. So why? Well... Well, I mean... Um... During the last big battle, everyone had it rough. So I thought I'd be really nice. Darn tootin! I mean, even CPUs need to take staycation for a bit. Working us any harder has got to be against some kind of goddess labor law standards thing. How many years do you think have passed since that battle? Enough! You two, sit down right now! Today is the day I will pound into your thick skulls exactly what it means to be a CPU! What? Brain check, please! And why just us? What about them? Pardon us, Neptune. I believe we shall be taking our leave now. You better not give these Dwar any more trouble, you hear me? The wisest one is she who avoids danger. Oh man, they're quicker to run away than I run toward the fridge. So lame. Don't abandon me. Silence! Your task now is to listen intently to my lecture. The primary duty of any CPU is... Uh, um, well, nice to meet you. Or maybe it's more like, it's been a while, everyone. Eastwar's lecture will last for quite some time, so allow me to use this chance to introduce us. First, I'm Neptune's... No, no, I'm a big girl now, so... I'm Nepgear, the CPU candidate of Planetune, and Neptune's little sister. She's Planetune's CPU. All of the CPU's younger sisters have the title of CPU candidate. Let me tell you about them. Oops. Actually, I'll introduce them a bit later. Oh, but the three CPUs who were just playing with my sister are the leaders of the other nations. Noir's from Last Station, Vert's from Leanbox, and Blonde's from Louis. They argue and tease one another a lot, but they're actually good friends. Um, I think. We're currently getting lectured by Istoire. My sister calls her Isti. She's Planetune's Oracle and acts as our Basilicom's boss. She helps us handle our workload. Supposedly, she's neither human nor a CPU, but an artificial super being that's the world every... I'll stop myself there. Sorry, I don't really know all the details. So, the current game industry is really peaceful, which is why the four CPUs are always playing around. Before this peace, the deity of Sin almost destroyed our world when she was resurrected. Neptune and our CPU allies fought really hard for the sake of our future. All I'm trying to say is that my sister and the other CPUs can get things done when they have to. Maybe. Oops, the lecture's almost over. Sorry to cut off my introductory narrative, but I'll finish later. Is how all CPUs should be. Let us end today's lesson here. She... she's finally done. Gah, my legs are sawing tingly logs. Can anyone spare me some parallaxin? Well, wait, Neptune! I can't seem to stand up either. And just how long do you two intend to crawl around on the floor like infants? Well, we just said that our legs are asleep. Steve, you talk more than a phone. Look at my cute thighs are quivering like jelly or whatever. Did you learn nothing from my lecture about how a CPU ought to behave and speak? Yes. Then I assume you have both taken a hard look at yourselves and now understand its importance, yes? Uh, if a CPU has to be honest, I gotta admit that less than half even entered my ear hall. Shh! Neptune, don't admit to that! If you understand, then get out there and do your jobs this instant, ladies! She would blow us out of there with her voice. She was seriously serious, huh? Yes, 
If we don't get some real work done today, she might grow even more upset. <laughs> I guess we gotta. I'd rather nap, but let's hoof it and beat stuff up for a bit. You'd rather nap? Really? Where are we going? Where are we going?
to play games, but... Oh, well. 